Hello, so welcome is back everyone. And Wolf here, once again, playing some more Star Wars The Old Republic. And we are here taking a shuttle into the final region which we really need to explore. A region known as the Nightmare Lands. And it's as horrible as it sounds. Even being in this region is known to drive people insane. The first thing we're going to have to do is speak to a Voss, maybe even a Voss mystic, about a ritual they undergo to protect themselves as they journey through the Nightmare Lands itself. So we are here at Shadecar Outpost. Do we have any codex entries? Not as of yet. Map. Yes, the entirety of the Nightmare Lands. I believe as a member of the Empire, you start around this region here. So, it doesn't look too bad here at Shadecar Outpost, but as we travel deeper into the Nightmare Lands, you will see how the corruption has uh, affected not only the local wildlife, but the flora as well. The entire land is corrupted. Report your ailments. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. I'm looking for Talon Day. I need protection against the Nightmare Lands. Laren Kai sent word. You follow the Gormax path. The Nightmare Lands have been since the dawn of Os. They hold many secrets. Enter lightly, and you will be lost to madness. What will happen to me if I enter the Nightmare Lands unprotected? Voss forget who they are. They run with beasts and hunt their own. The mystic Kedar created a ritual of cleansing. It is our only protection. If you hope to survive the Nightmare Lands, you must complete Kedar's ritual. Where would you suggest I start? You will need a dark crystal. Several grow in caves throughout the Nightmare Lands. Deadly Veratikai have made the caves their home. Defeat these beasts to reach the crystals. Use the crystal to cleanse the corrupted. It will trap the darkness that drives the mad. What do I do with this handful of darkness? After the corrupted have been cleansed, take the crystal to the ruins nearby. Place the crystal before the ancient tablets. Meditate. You will gain Kida's wisdom. The darkness will no longer harm you. Find the crystal, use it on the corrupted, take it to the ruins, and meditate. Follow Kida's ritual. Only then will you be safe. Okay. There are certainly other tasks we could look into doing here. But why don't we follow this uh, path first? Unfortunately, the Crystal Cave is quite deep within the Nightmare Lands. Let's have a look at this mission terminal. Attention outsiders and potential allies. The corruption of the Nightmare Lands spreads. These lands are eaten by darkness. Outsiders, Imperial and Republic ignore our warnings. They enter the Nightmare Lands, madness eats them. Now the madmen return and build. These craftsmen create shrines, and these shrines... Sorry, around these shrines, the Nightmare Lands corruption devours faster. Evil drives the craftsmen to build. Boss will seek answers from the mystics. Outsiders must see the shrines and their craftsmen destroyed. Okay. Why don't we take a look at that then? 
So nearby, we have these. What do you mean she's not coming back? Did she die? I don't know, sir. Master Shivas was fine until we hit the Dark Heart. We tried to warn her, but she went in. Then we heard the screams. Sent a man in just as body came out. Lightsaber wounds on him. The boss warned us about this. The Order needs to be informed. Ah, uh, well, I'm a member of the Order. It sounds like a Jedi has went insane. Right. And more people have went insane. They're not building shrines that are allowing the corruption in this region to develop faster. At least according to the Voss. Let's have a look for these craftsman builders. Oh. We have Republic and Imperials side by side. Hello, fellow Republic soldier. Nope. They weren't willing to communicate, that's for sure. And they're praying. Oh yeah, we have these various Ferranticus. With uh, unique names here in the Nightmare Lands. We might see a few more of them. But we have Cleave the Wanderer here. I've always wondered if there is a quest to kill all of them. The titled Varan. Did you just. Did something just flow from their bodies? Or was that Kira healing us? We'll have to be a bit more aware, perhaps. There, good as new. Okay, we defeated the builders, and now they want us to destroy some of the completed shrines. I guess these were incomplete, as the corruption hasn't really spread too much to these fields. But as you can see... The crafted Blight. This uh, shrine seems to be emanating power.
Temple here. Good as new. Oh, we made friends. Now lure out and defeat one of the corrupted craftsmen, seemingly their leader. Oh, it looks like either the Republic or the Empire were setting up an encampment here. Unfortunately, um, they weren't protected. him down. I suppose if nothing else we can just quick travel back over to the shade car outpost. Report our success there. We're still unprotected from the influence of the nightmare lands. But we'll follow the road now. There is like a canyon, a ravine here. To get to the crystal caves is quite a journey. We'll follow the road. We do actually have a small Republic outpost here. Oh! And a fellow Jedi. Chascruni do pat curira do kanki kung. O grani tampio da pushi wompa. Pu tula musta. Kabano tase makipuna. Mali tuta odmishka. I'm not exactly clear on what you're talking about. Se gota do muti ki hasa da punyo, lis di woto, umpa hupa, jikilia umpasa do biska. How much control does Lord Renick have? Chobat i kafstuan dile ji hulo kuta, kuchusa yo mata chitoya, nam kanoya choski nawi. Pampawula ji ota kakoga huta nupisto. 
Now you'll get to see how a Jedi handles things. Chikos pa ini good dad iji gliska chanagawa. Kuchusa yo mata chitoya asubi mota uipa. Yeah, you're a Jedi Master. You're here in the Nightmare Lands, but you're not gonna go confront this Sith Lord. This Lord Rennick. Who seems to have somehow managed to gain influence over some of the affected here in the Nightmare Lands. Yeah, us to the rescue once again. Let us go look into protecting ourselves before we go confront a Sith Lord who is trying to harness the power of the Nightmare Lands first. Seems like doing that shielding ritual will certainly come in handy. Small Imperial outpost here. And, no, oh, it looks like the Gormak have taken over. It was an Imperial outpost. Is that crystal cave? Ah, we were told that it was guarded by a lot of Rantakai. This is a uh, seeming promising, despite the danger. Is indeed what we're looking for. You're fine. Oh dear. Some of the afflicted are driven mad and driven to attack us. Is this one of the dark crystals we seek? Hmm. Seemingly it is. This shard of crystal radiates with a dark energy and seems to be drawing more in all of the time. Some of the corrupted Voss here. 
can make use of this dark crystal to draw the madness from them. One more to go. And now... We must take this dark crystal to an altar and meditate. And seemingly we will learn wisdom. Hmm. This altar isn't too far from the Shade Car Outpost. In fact, I think we saw it earlier while dealing with the Craftsman uh, Altars. Do we feel any better? Hmm. I don't feel too different. Maybe a little lighter. I've completed Kida's ritual. The Voss are cleansed. You outsiders heed my warnings. You are better. You have strength. The Nightmare Lands cannot harm you. Laren Kai sent you here to follow Jokul's path. You are ready to enter the Dark Heart. The Gormak King came here alone. We tracked him from Gormakas into the Nightmare Lands. There are many caves in the Dark Heart. Jokul entered the foulest. The Dark Hollow. What makes the Dark Hollow so dangerous? The Dark Hollow is home to an ancient evil. All are drawn and lost to it. Voss, Gormak, outsiders, beasts. If they still live, they will attack you. You've been of tremendous assistance. Thank you. You will defeat the Gormak. 
You must survive. The Dark Hollow gave Jokul his power. Find the source. Well, at least you have faith in me, I suppose. So, the Dark Hollow is over here. Hmm. What we should do is follow the road all the way around, which will lead us to this Lord Rennick. We've been warned, of course, that he has somehow gained control of the afflicted Gormak and Voss. They will likely attack us. But a Sith learning to subjugate more and more people could be a threat to not only the Voss but the Republic as well. here as well we have another dead commando it seems but they've left an active data pad finally I... wait who are you how did you get this calm where is Luton Fell? I found this calm on a dead body I'm sorry to say as I feared Ludovel was a hunter. His sacred duty, ending the lives of beasts that threaten the Voss. The Grelic was his prey. It must not kill again. You're not making any sense at all. The Grelic is a great Nexu. Vicious. Cunning. It preys upon entire patrols of commandos. Ludovel was our best. No other could destroy the beast. Why is this particular animal such a threat? All Nexu are swift and strong. The Grelic is clever. Bones surround its lair. If you would finish this hunt, seek it there. If you succeed, find me at the commando outpost. Oh. So this commando was sent to hunt a great beast. This Grelic. A mighty Nexu. Before we do that, let us confront this Sith Lord. Hmm. Is that a holocron? An ancient Sith focus. was the source of his power. He has some ancient tablets with Sith carvings upon them. Seemingly, they hold a secret to overcoming the corruption here. Huh. So the Sith have their own methods of overcoming the corruption of the Nightmare Lands.
making us uh, making our way around the nightmare lands here to try and find the entrance to the Grelic Slayer. We have the Dark Hollow here, of course. We'll have a look at that later. Ah. This is what we're looking for. Yeah, more corrupted beasts. Of course, we were warned that the Grelic is more intelligent than its other corrupted brethren. There it is, actually. as medical abilities we were able to stay alive may as well deal with the rest of the nexu here in the lair Shade car outpost. Let Gorin Bo know that the Grelic has been defeated. And then, of course, we have to meet our fellow Jedi. And we can show him these ancient Sith tablets. The Grelic has been defeated. Your people are safe. A sacred duty is fulfilled. For Ludavel and all of us, I thank you. Take this. You're welcome among the hunters, outsider. It is done. Thank you. You are very welcome.
Master Kelpin, Lord Rennick is dead. He was guarding these tablets. Wanta humpa, muri rava fupa jipampa wula. Kupa tonti toki maki chisa chubolo wawuni. Yes, you're welcome. But did he give me any thanks at all, actually? <sighs> okay. May as well take a small break here. When we head back, we are heading over to the east to confront whatever may be within the Dark Hollow. Thank you all for joining me once again with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you so wish, and hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then though, take care. Bye bye now.